Hello everyone, welcome to Lyrefant. My name is William Juma. In this video, I would like us to talk about toss notifications in your LiveWire application. I have installed Laravel Breeze and we are using the LiveWire functional preset. And so I would like us to go ahead and look for the LiveWire toast. I will just type in LiveWire toast in my browser and the first link is what we need and that is what we are going to use it is called mass merize uh, live wire toaster and so the first thing for us to do is to provision it and install it so we will install it using this um, command here composer require mass merize live wire toaster and that i'm going to just open a new section of my terminal and paste it in there our package is fully installed. We go ahead and set it up. We can uh, publish the configuration files by running the command php artisan um, vendor publish tag toaster config. And when we go to our configuration directory, we have a toaster config. And just to check it, we can see that uh, accessibility has been set to true, alignment is bottom. So here you can be able to modify where you want it to be, whether bottom, top, which side of uh, your screen and position right. So it should be, in this case, it's bottom right somewhere here. But you can decide it to be top right or top left or bottom left, whatever it is that you want. So you can be able to set those ones. And then um, maybe if, if it is translatable and so on and so forth. So basically that is what you have in the configuration file. Uh, then the next thing that you're supposed to do is to um, import the toast uh, JavaScript. And in this case, we will add this script in our, we will go to app resources JS, app JS here. Yeah. And we will just add that uh, JavaScript for our toaster. And after that, we can actually be able to use it. And so the best way that we will do is to have a component x toaster hyphen hub, um, what we have here. And this you can be able to put in your layout file. So in this case, in our application we can go to views we can go to layouts and then we can choose whichever layout we want to use so in this case we can use app.blet because maybe that one is the authenticated one but you can be able to use all of them so before the end of uh, the body tag i can be able to paste the x toaster hub and after we do that, I would like us to try and see if we can actually be in a position to uh, view this uh, toaster. So I'll go to our um, application and I would like to go to profile where we have our login, maybe, maybe um, LiveWire and then pages. Sorry, we go to LiveWire, then pages, then auth. And I want to have the toaster when the user is uh, logged in. And so possibly this is where we can uh, have our toaster. And I will uh, put it somewhere here where we have regenerated the, se the session and we are in the uh, process of redirecting. And what we will do when we want to use it, we can be able to use it as follows. We can say toaster success something of that sort and i will just uh, paste it here and we can say user uh, logged in like that then of course it is important for us to import the um, use mesmerize toaster toaster above here for us to be in a position to use it so let us try and see if we can be able to actually have access to that um, uh, feature so you go to this page and here we have a login page which i have an email and a password which have been set in the database so i can be able to attempt to log in and see if it's position possible for me to have the toaster we can try again log out then log in again 
it seems the layout we are using is guest so i will modify that because the best way to do it is to ensure that you have included it in all your layouts so if you have it in all your layouts you will be fine so let us also add it here and um, try again i will log out and then log in again and now you can see we had briefly uh, something that was uh, shown to us below here and basically that is what you can be able to use you can just try again one more time so login like that so let us check here yes you can see user logged in basically that is how you can be able to use that uh, toaster component Thank you very much for following this video up until this point. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And you can also share if you think the video is useful and can be able to help other people. You can share it to them such that we all benefit. And if you have a comment, you can shoot in the comment section below. Thank you very much.